15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and lift For three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, X4. T plus 30 seconds into flight with the Axiom 4 crew on board Dragon headed to the International Space Station. Waiting to hear call outs from the Falcon 9 engineering team. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one throttle. We're throttling down the nine Merlin engines. We're into the throttle bucket preparing for max Q. Max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. We should begin throttling the Merlin engines back up now. Stage one throttle up. Mission control confirming. Stage one Bravo. That throttle up and we Copy are you one Bravo. hearing our commander Peggy Whitson call out the first abort mode. Um, each of these are a specific phase where if for any reason we had an in-flight abort, uh, Dragon would, would abort to a safe location. So we're going to call out each of those milestones as we pass through them. We also just heard the call out for MVAC chill. We're going to trickle just a little bit of liquid oxygen now into the turbo pumps on board our Merlin vacuum engine on stage two in preparation for second engine start one, which will of course be shortly after stage separation. Now at this point, we are just about 30 seconds away from four events that are going to happen in rapid succession. The first one will be main engine cutoff or MECO, then again followed by stage separation, ignition of that second stage engine, which we are already stage preparing for, um, as well as the first stage's boost back burn. We are throttling the first stage engines down. We are expecting MECO at T plus two minutes and 26 seconds. MECO, stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back startup from back ignition. There we had confirmation of all four of those events. Incredible views on our screen here too as that boost back, as that first stage boosts its way back to Earth. Stage two alpha. And confirmation Copy from our two alpha. commander that we have entered the two alpha abort mode. Of course, we're getting lots of cheers from behind us here at Mission Control here in Hawthorne, California as well. And at this point, our AX4 crew is on their way to space. The view you have on your screen right now is our MVAC engine burning for that second engine first burn. Um, we're expecting that SECO here, uh, second engine cutoff, uh, which will likely be called out over the nets as SECO in just a couple of minutes. Stage one boost back shutdown. Confirmation that the boost back burn on our first stage booster is now complete, and the booster is heading back toward the Florida coast to attempt a landing at LZ1. At this point, stage one is actually still coasting to Apogee. We're about to deploy those grid fins um, so that we can steer the vehicle as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. And that call out from Mission Control means Dragon that copy, nominal trajectory. everything is right on track. T plus four minutes, everything continuing to go well, and we've got our first view of the crew. They're inside Dragon, second stage continuing to fire. Right now, second stage, just a little bit more than one G. There's so much propellant that even with a 220,000 pound thrust engine, it takes a while before the G loads start to build up during the second stage flight. Meanwhile, First stage continuing to coast up to Apogee, and actually now, as you can see on the bottom left of your monitors, uh, we have begun coming back down. It takes a couple of minutes to go up, a couple of minutes to come back down. And that first stage heading back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. Dragon, right. SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Words we love to hear. Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Peggy Whitson echoing back the call up from the ground. Now our next major event coming up will be in about a minute and 10 seconds. That's gonna be the entry burn. 
That's where we're going to light a single center engine on the first stage. That's going to slow us down in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere again. We'll then have a landing burn about a minute later at T plus 7 minutes and 19 seconds. Now for that one, we actually light three engines again. Then quickly we'll, once we've kind of jammed the brakes on, then we'll turn off two of the engines. We'll be down to just a single engine. Getting good views of the MVAC-D engine. There are a couple of cameras on the back of the second stage that give these views. And of course, the view inside the Dragon spacecraft showing the crew. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing the call outs right on time. Dragon copy, nominal trajectory. Now right now, as Ronnie pointed out, the grid fins have been deployed, but they're not being used right before the entry burn. So coming up next for our crew, now that we've confirmed that booster touchdown is going to be second engine cutoff, also called out as SECO. Then the second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate from the second stage. There's our AX4 crew awaiting that SECO call out here. MVAC shut down. We'll possibly see a little bit of motion if we can pick up the first stage camera. That's just to check out. It's not until we actually get through the entry burn. Stage that, one entry burn startup. That we get back in the atmosphere. And now here is entry burn call out. This is going to be about a 12 second burn. That's going to slow the vehicle down. You can Stage watch that. Stage one entry burn shut down. There you just saw on the left hand side of your screen that first stage entry burn shut down. Right now on your screen, we've got great views of our second stage and take our AX4 crew to orbit. The next milestone for our first stage is going to be the landing burn, where we'll relight just the center engine, as John mentioned. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Again, things we love to hear. Stage one FTS. Dragon copy, nominal trajectory. Continuing to get good communication from our crew on board Dragon. Stage one transonic. Confirmation that stage one is now transonic on its way back to LZ-1, which is just about nine miles away from our liftoff location today. LZ-1, of course, is the site of the first successful landing attempt, and hopefully it will be the second time that this particular booster sticks its landing. Seeing those actuating of the grid fins that John mentioned. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage two FTSS safe. Mm. Stage one landing confirmed. That was a picture perfect landing. That was great. Absolutely stunning. Nominal orbital insertion of SpaceX, and we had an incredible ride uphill, and now we like to set our course for the International Space Station aboard the newest member of the Dragon Fleet, our spacecraft named Grace. Grace is more than a name. It reflects the elegance with which we move through space against the backdrop of Earth. It speaks to the refinement of our mission, the harmony of science and spirit, and the unmerited favor we carry with humility. Grace reminds us that spaceflight is not just a feat of engineering, but an act of goodwill. The benefit of every human, every whole. Over to you, ship. Ten minutes into flight. What are they?